Last week we spoke briefly about AIDS Help. Now the Royal Coronation Campaign is actually one of their most important fundraisers of the year. Every penny raised during the two-month campaign fills a growing need. Last year in 2011, the Fantasy Fest Accord raised over $181,000. That number is remarkable, but I know they'd like to see it increase even more this year. Joining me right now is one of your Fantasy Fest King candidates for 2012. Mark, thank you for being on the show with me today. No, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Well, it's wonderful having you here. And now, Mark, how did you get yourself involved in Fantasy Fest Royal Court? Uh, I ran three years ago with my friend Mark Blackburn. In 2009, we ran as the Marquise for King. We were trying to be the first dual king. Uh, there's never been a dual king. Uh, and that all started because he was called Marky Mark, I was called Marky Mark, we were both bartenders, and the idea was born uh, back in 2005, and okay. then we ran in 2009. Uh, we didn't make it, um, so we knew all along that we were going to go again, or I was going to go again, and as it turned out, he didn't have the time or the, uh, you know, the, uh, the eligibility to mm -hmm. run this year. So he, with his blessing, I'm running alone as mm -hmm. Marquee for King of Fantasy Fest. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful, and you are so into this because I see, Mark, now you, you have this little smile bag right here. Correct. I see this smile everywhere. I saw it on your car when you pulled up. <laughs> I saw it in your cell phone case. Who Explain. doesn't love a smile? I, I mean, love it. It's just who doesn't love a smile? And, then, mm -hmm. and that all started with him because mm -hmm. he's always smiling, my friend Mark. You never see him not smiling. He never has a bad day. Or if he does, it doesn't show. So that's where the smiley face was born. Okay. And now tell our viewers who don't really understand what this Fantasy Fest Royal Court is. So, I mean, how many people do you have on it? And explain it. Well, this year there are four candidates, two for queen, two for king. Uh, Liz Ketchum for queen, Sue Maurer for queen, myself and Seth Van Beaver are the four candidates running for king and queen of Fantasy Fest. Mm -hmm. um, I, as I mentioned, you know, running back in 2009, even though I didn't make it, I'm part of the Royal Court. I am Duke, and Mark is Duke of Fantasy Fest 2009. So we are, and for always, forever will be, mm -hmm. part of the Royal Court, and mm -hmm. it's an honor. We have our names on bricks out at the Royal Point Sienna apartment complex. All kings and queens and dukes and duchesses from when this all started mm -hmm. is are, are memorized uh, or memorialized, or however you want to say it, mm -hmm. in brick out at the Royal Point Sienna. So it's an honor to already just be a duke. Mm -hmm. um, and now, if, uh, to be, if I become king, uh, that'll be just icing on the cake because mm -hmm. you know running for King of Fantasy Fest is is my way of giving back to this community that's been so good to me and if I were to win I will pay it forward and I will host many fundraising events for many agencies as King of Fantasy Fest. Mm -hmm. And this is what you do all during this two-month campaign. You host different fundraisers, you host different events. Yes. How Aren't you so busy with it, Mark? <laughs> I mean, do you have time to rest? I barely. <laughs> I barely have time to rest. I mean, I started planning this back in January. Mm -hmm. And then do you really, you know, the finalizing stages of, of the campaign are in July, August, then kickoff starts in, at the end of August, and then it's eight weeks of, of fundraising. Mm -hmm. I myself have 28 events in 55 days. Not to and that's not counting the events that the, all the candidates are required to attend. Mm -hmm. We just had the Wreckers event. That they hosted an event for us last Thursday at Aqua that made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. We have the Innkeepers Association event coming up, the Island House Bash, which is an all-candidate event. So there's 41 times where I leave the house with a smiley face that's shirt funny. or some sort of smiley face. So it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> but I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm, I'm not, I, think I have so much adrenaline I don't really want to rest. I want to mm -hmm. just forge ahead. Mm -hmm. Now, are you and the other King Kennedy, are you competitive? No, I don't think we are. Um, I don't really know Seth that well, uh, mm -hmm. but I know his heart is in the right place. Uh, there's been some, you know, comedic banter back and forth, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not competing against him. Uh, I've said before, uh, and I mentioned to you earlier, you know, Seth and I are competing for a crown. Mm -hmm. We're competing to be King of Fancy Fest, but it's AIDS help that will be the winner in the end. Mm -hmm. AIDS help will be the winner, and it sounds like last year $181,000 were raised. I know you guys would like to see that number increase this year. We'd like to, we want to go over too. Mm -hmm. And again, all the money that's raised, it helps the services of AIDS help, yes. which is just remarkable. When is your next event? My next event is Wednesday. I'm uh, guest bar attending at 8.01 uh, mm -hmm. during their karaoke from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, and I'm encouraging people to bring, you know, you know, money not only to help the campaign, but if you want to keep me off the microphone for mm -hmm. karaoke, <laughs> throw in a couple extra bucks or I'll be singing and slinging drinks at the same time. 
Um, and then my biggest event that mm -hmm. I'm, uh, this, uh, I did brought this all on, or I, I thought of this all by myself, and I think it's a great idea, and I hope that other candidates down the road or in the future will use it, because it's never been done before. Mm -hmm. I'm doing something called Dollar Day. Because mm -hmm. AIDS Help does serve all of Monroe County with nutrition services, education services, housing, free testing, you name it. You know, they serve all of Monroe County. There's patients all the way up the county. Mm -hmm. And the, a lot of times these campaigns stay in QS or you know, stay on Duval Street. And not everyone that lives in Big Pine can come down, or not everyone that lives in Marathon has the time to drive all the way down for an event. So I'm coming to Monroe County. Mm -hmm. From Key Largo all the way down to Key West and then all over the island of Key West, I'm mm -hmm. going to have 90 volunteers wearing shirts that look just like this. And the one I'm wearing, look for this awesome. purple shirt. Mm -hmm. With the big smile. With the big mm -hmm. smile. And they'll be carrying these yellow bags. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, smileystore.com. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just give that volunteer wearing this shirt $1. Mm -hmm. Just one dollar. Not awesome. everyone can afford the fifty dollar progressive dinner or the mm -hmm. thirty dollar, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, this is my way of just not only coming to the county and including the county, mm -hmm. but to prove that even one dollar can make the difference in the life of someone with HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. And that one dollar can make a difference. One, so every first state bank between mm -hmm. Key Largo and here in Key West, look for that volunteer, and other uh, other places around Key West mm -hmm. on Duval Street, look for that volunteer wearing that, and just give them one dollar. Mm -hmm. I want to I want to set a record for the most raised in one day for any event in, in the history of these campaigns. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope that you can pull that off. I hope <laughs> so too. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on the show this morning. No, thank you very much. Appreciate for more it. information, you can check out his website or give him a call at the number you see at the bottom of the screen. I'll be right back. <laughs>